Hey guys, what's going on? Mizu back here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the most efficient, effective, and fast aerial in the entire game. Hence why it is called a fast aerial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this mechanic in Rocket League with the most efficiency. And I'm also going to be showing you guys what not to do when executing this mechanic. Now I see a lot of tutorial videos on YouTube showing off this mechanic, but they only show you how to do it. Now I have lots of coaching experience, coaching players of champ and below, and even champ and higher into grand champ as well, but I do have lots of uh, coaching experience with champ and below, and I have found that when teaching the fast aerial, a lot of players actually do mess up on very little minute things in a fast aerial, but it makes a world of difference. So if you guys want to learn how to execute a aerial like this in game, and reach the ceiling and you can turn your aerial from this into this make sure to stick around and watch this video guys because i'm going to be showing you how to do it and what not to do when trying to execute this mechanic guys all right so when trying to do this mechanic it is very important that you understand and have the right tools to execute it so what i i recommend everyone doing when trying to learn this mechanic is you're going to want to press the start button change mode and match go down to training custom training go to browse and scroll down until you find a training pack by flump called basic aerials basic aerials by flump right here in the browse section is a great training pack for learning fast aerials okay guys so I want everyone when practicing this to just practice the first shot. Once you're done watching this video, just practice the first shot. Now you can practice with me and pause the video and replay it, or you can practice after you're done the video, it's completely up to you. This is the way I would recommend practicing. Now guys, what I often see people doing and often aerials uh, will look like when practicing this pack when I tell people to go for the first time is this. Now some of you may be thinking, what's wrong with that aerial? That was really good, you almost scored. Right? You scored it. What's wrong with that aerial? Look how slow and how long it took me to get up to this ball, guys. Right? Long time. Now, I can turn that into this. See how much faster that was? I even got above the ball and didn't score it. See how much faster this is, guys? Now, I'm focused on purely speed here and not really trying to score the ball, but do you see how much faster that aerial is in comparison to the other one? See how much quicker I got there? And how much more power I got on the aerial. Now you guys are wondering, well, I understand that, Mizu. How do I do it? Here's how you do it, okay? So the first step to a fast aerial is turning this one into the fast aerial. Is The first problem with this aerial is they don't double jump. You have to jump twice to do the aerial. So you have to jump twice and then go for the ball. But then you're still like, well, that doesn't look like yours. You jumped twice and you still went for it. Here's the hard part. You have to jump twice but after your first jump, you need to hold the joystick backwards so your nose faces the ceiling and then jump again. So instead of it looking like this, jump twice and then go, it's now jump, lean back, jump. Jump, lean back, jump. Jump, lean back, jump. Now, what will happen when you practice this uh, for the first time is you're often gonna backflip. Don't worry. That's part of learning it, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna jump, you wanna flick your stick backwards, and then as you're doing your second jump, let go of the stick so you can jump for a second time without backflipping, okay? That's a very important part to this aerial, is you want to be able to jump twice while leaning back with your car, and your nose should face the ceiling, okay? Once you can execute this mechanic, all it takes is just holding down boost the entire time. And congratulations, you fast aerial. Now that is a lot simpler to understand than it actually is to execute the mechanic. Lots of people are going to be backflipping when trying to learn this, I understand that. Now let's hop into common mistakes I often see when trying to learn the fast aerial, guys. Okay, so common mistakes that I often see when trying to learn the fast aerial include many things. And I've actually recorded a replay of those mistakes to show you guys in slow motion what it should and shouldn't look like. So let's hop in and see what it should look like first. And I'll put it in slow motion for you guys. So fast aerial from the player's perspective should look like this in slow motion. 
Okay, so you jump, you start boosting, you lean back, and then you jump again. You guys see that? Show you again. So you jump, you lean back. See how I lean back? And then the second I stop leaning back, I have let go of my joystick right at this moment, and I've jumped again. You see the little orange sparks that I'm jumping again? So now I've jumped twice. Now I'm fast aerialing because I've jumped twice, used my boost, and leaned back. That's what a good fast aerial looks like, guys. Let me show you from the side here so you really understand. So when I show you what you're not supposed to do, you can really get a good understanding here. So if we watch here, I'm gonna jump once, I'm gonna lean back, and then I'm gonna jump again. Do you guys see that? And see how I've boosted the whole time and my boost trail is going in an upward direction the whole time? That's a fast aerial, guys. Now let's hop in and show you guys the common mistakes I often see. <clears throat> So this is one common mistake that I often see, right? This mistake here is you learn the mechanic of jumping, lean back and jump like this. You're saying, this looks good. What are you talking about? You boost after you're jumping. You have, the whole point of a fast aerial is you're supposed to boost the entire time while you're jumping. The whole reason you lean back and jump is because while you're leaning back, if you think about it, physically your boost canister, the thing that propels the boost at the back of your car, is now facing downwards as you're leaning back. So what that allows you to do, the whole reason you lean back is because your boost will now be facing the ground. So while you're doing your jumps, you're already heading into the air. That's why you immediately hold back and put your nose towards the ceiling is because if you hold boost the entire time while you're doing your jumps, you're already generating momentum and you add the momentum of your jumps to that and you're going to um, go really, really high, really, really fast. That's the whole point here. So in this scenario, there's two things wrong. It's not only does he not boost, he doesn't boost the entire time he jumps. He also doesn't even lean back. One thing I often see is people will go for the fast aerial, but they just jump twice, right? They don't even lean back. So it's very important to lean back when doing the fast aerial is very, very, very important. All right guys, so now you've seen a common mistake with that fast aerial. There's one other common mistake, very hard to show in the replay, but it is very, very prevalent, guys, when I go to show you this. Okay, so actually we'll just hop in the, uh, I don't have it saved, unlucky. Here we go. We'll hop in here, guys, so let me show you. So this is what it should look like. And one often th uh, thing I see, even with even with Grand Champ players, some Grand Champ players don't have this down. This is a very difficult mechanic to grasp. But if you can, your rank is going to skyrocket very, very quickly because you will be able to beat everyone to the ball. Now, the thing that I often see, this is the number one mistake, the number one mistake, guys. You can do the jump correctly. You can do the boost correctly. You can have perfect boost management, per uh, perfect air control, perfect momentum control, hitting the ball, everything can be perfect. This is the number one mistake many people don't even realize they're doing, and you could be doing right now as a grand champ. There's many things people don't realize, but this is the number one thing people don't realize they're doing wrong. And that is the jump, lean back, and jump again is too slow. It needs to be right away. It needs to look like this. See how fast it is with my joystick and how fast it is in the car? What I often see is jump, lean back, and jump like this. Now, it may not seem like a big deal, but you understand this rhythm? Now, watch what happens when I go super fast. Ready? I'll do super fast now. You guys see how much faster that is and how much higher I get? And how much quicker it is versus this? You guys see how much faster this is? This is the number one mistake, guys. You want to be able to practice so you can do it super fast every time. You wanna do it as fast as humanly possible, okay? That's what you want. But you don't want to jump twice like this. You don't wanna do it like, you wanna make sure you're leaning back. It's a jump, lean back and jump, but you wanna do it as fast as you can. And what that's gonna do to you is you're gonna backflip a lot when learning this, like this. You're gonna backflip a lot, but it's gonna allow you to eventually look like this. 
Now implement boost the entire time. The second you do your first jump, your first jump, implement boost. And now your aerials are going to start looking like that. Now, obviously, I need more forward momentum. This is a quick tip for you guys. If you're ever doing a fast aerial and you have them down, and you find that you need to go more forward than up, still do the fast aerial, but instead boost while you're on the ground and it will generate forward momentum and then you'll go up and watch. You know how I got above the ball and then I went forward? If I'm gonna go straight towards the ball, watch this guys. See how now I'm more towards straight towards the ball? Instead of having to go straight up and then forward, I was just on a direct line because I boosted before I jumped here guys, watch. I boosted before I jumped and that allows me to get forward momentum as well. So depending on whether you need to go straight up, you'll boost as you do your first jump like that or if you need to go forward, you'll boost before your first jump. So once you understand how to fast aerial, that's another quick tip that really helps people out a lot. But yeah, guys, that is how to fast aerial in Rocket League. Again, make sure you're jumping, lean back and jump again. You're gonna backflip a lot, but that's part of learning, okay? You also wanna make sure you're boosting the entire time you do your first jump, no exceptions. And you also wanna make sure that you're doing this motion as fast as you possibly can. And make sure to let off the stick. You can't hold the stick backwards when going to do your second jump or you will backflip every single time. Make sure to let go of the stick, okay guys? So you're gonna hold boost, let go of the stick, lean back, and you will learn how to fast aerial super, super quick in Rocket League. Very effective mechanic to beat your op um, opposition in any parts of the field. You're gonna recognize your clears are faster, your shots are faster, passes are faster, aerials are faster, redirects are faster, and you're gonna save boost in the process, guys. So make sure to learn this mechanic. Very effective, efficient mechanic in Rocket League. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.